Today I'm going to show how to um, take the photos that you took, put them together in Photoshop Mix to create the uh, composited image for uh, the name and the word of your choice. So let's uh, let me change courses here. Photo two. So this was what we are, were working on this week, alphabet photography one and two. The first one was your name. The second one is a word of your choice. I'm only going to do the compositing with one word and then you'll, you know, you'll have to do both. But for those who may have missed what this assignment is, you had to go out and take photos of things that when you manipulate the image whether that be turning it or just zooming in really close getting really close to something like a fence here makes the letter c uh let me annotate there we go or this you know line of rocks creates the letter r the telephone pole here for the letter t these branches for the letter a right and when we put it all together it makes a word and the, for this one the word is create um, so you were supposed to go out and find images that have letters. And one of those words needed to be your name. The other one needed to be a word of your choice that just was school appropriate. Um, so I'm going to show how to put those together today in Photoshop Mix. Adobe Photoshop Mix is the app. And then we'll turn that in along with updating our uh, Adobe Spark page portfolio. So again, the app is Photoshop Mix, and we're gonna use that to composite images together. So let's do that. Share my iPad screen. To get started in Adobe Photoshop Mix, which is this app right here. Adobe Photoshop Mix, that's what you'll search uh, for in self-service. Once you're in the app, there's a plus sign on the left side. And we're going to create a custom canvas. You're going to name it for whichever assignment you're working on, Alphabet Photo 1 or Alphabet Photo 2, or maybe you want to just put the word that you're building as the title. Totally up to you. But you want to set the width to be much larger than the height. Um, a landscape photo is typically a ratio of three to one. So maybe somewhere around there. But I found that what worked for me was 5,000 by 2,000. So 5,000 pixels wide by 2,000 pixels tall. And you'll click create. And this one already exists. So I'll just name it three. And this is what you will be greeted with once you've created your canvas. So you'll hit this plus sign on the right side. And we're going to add the images that you took for each letter of whichever word you're spelling. And so this is my M. And it says, this is a really high resolution image. Do you want to resize the canvas? I don't need to resize the canvas. I want to resize the image. So I'll click cancel. And I can, I have these four blue circles on each corner. If you grab those, you can change the size of the image. So I'll make it about that, move it over. And this is the first letter. So I'll add my next one, image. This is my letter I. I don't need to resize the canvas, just the image. And I want this to be the same height as the other one. And so you can see when I drag the corner, I get this blue line that shows up and that's letting me know that I'm at the same level as that one. So I'll scoot it over. And I'm just going to keep on going. Next image will be my letter T. Cancel. 
resize and put it where it goes. C, cancel that, I'll resize, put that one where it goes, and I can already tell that I'm going to run out of canvas at this point. So I can either go in and resize each and every single one of these images. or hide the layers because they're in the way by pressing this button in the top right corner in the center of those it's the two layers there on the top left corner the second button there it's like a square I can add some more canvas to the side using that and make sure that everything is on my canvas and then hit the check mark in the bottom right corner. I'll turn the layers back on and press the plus sign and get my last letter, the last image, the letter H. I don't need to resize canvas, just the image. And put that in its place. Way. So, yeah, perfect. So I've got all of my images on there to create my word. Uh, I'm working on the one that spells my name. Um, I want to add a colored layer over the top, whatever color you want, but you hit the plus sign here in the layers and where it says color. You can then use the color wheel to choose a color. You could also go with the RGB selector where you change the values of each color. And CMYK, cyan, um, magenta, yellow, and black. But I like the color wheel myself. So maybe this time I'll go with an orange. No, I like the teal. But I can see that I have made these a little dark, so I'm going to go back into my RGB and fix this a bit. There we go. Once you've gotten the color that you're happy with, click Done. And it's going to automatically put a colored rectangle, whatever the shape of your canvas is, right over the top. And it puts it over the top of everything. So I'm going to press blend in the bottom center, that right one where it says blend. It's got two circles that overlap. I'm going to press blend. You can go through these blending modes to find one that you like. And where it says opacity here on the right side, you can change how strong the color is from zero to 100 percent i'm gonna go with this one so i'll press the check mark in the bottom right corner once you're done check mark i need to trim off all these extra edges so i'll use that square again and i can now trim off all the extra stuff on my whoops on my canvas so that it is just what i need i'll hit the check mark and it's actually it's giving me a pop-up of, of my next step interesting i'm going to hide my layers and just Take one last look at it and make sure it's looking like what I want it to look like. And I think I need to actually bring this in a little more over here. So I'm 
There we go. All right. So we're, you're all done. The top right corner, there's a square with an arrow. That square with the arrow is a share button. Um, so we want to press on that one. And we're going to export this to the camera roll. The camera roll on the iPad. So send to camera roll. All right, and it says it's completed, so I press OK. So we have the image here now in the camera roll, right? There it is. But we also need to add it to our Adobe Spark page portfolio. I think I have a bunch of them here. This was the one that I made last. So you can go back to right your page where you, you click on My Pages in the bottom right corner bottom right corner my pages select the one the one you're working on for this class scroll down and underneath the last thing we did it's probably better to have the title above the images i think that will look better so text make it a heading alphabet photography why it won't let me make that a capital. There we go. Center it. There's the two images and then reflection on what you learned. Centered. So that's the next part is to do all that. So put the title, add the two images, and then the reflection. Once you have that in there, it's the same button that's square with the arrow. You want to make sure that this clipboard here is blue, not one of these other items and click update public link. Okay, so the link has been copied to the clipboard. That means it's as if we've highlighted it and copied it. Now we go to Canvas, we hit submit, we paste in the link and add the image. Same for this one. You'll paste in that link and then add the image to your submission. All right, well, that's it. We'll see ya.